The first major show for the 84-year-old photographer and activist Kwame Braithwaite, but his work dates back to the 1960s. Black is Beautiful includes 40 black and white as well as color photographs as well as clothing and jewelry, some of which have never been publicly displayed. The fact that my father was able to do that and really bring um, the truest form and then someone's truest self to life uh, was really, really important and, and a, a part of his process that he took great care and took and detailed attention, um, took, took attention to detail to really ensure that he could make sure that we were represented properly. The New York Historical Society, where the exhibit has been hosted, says Braithwaite is viewed as a pioneer of the Black is Beautiful movement. I think um, what's happened more so than often is that the people who have um, been part of it, like you know Jesse Williams and Swiss Beats and Alicia Keys and and others have, you know, we've, we've become friends and because they, they're just in love with the fact that this was such an unapologetic movement. Um, you know, Rihanna used um, my father's work to drop her clothing line. Um, she's another unapologetically kind of herself person, also from Barbados. My father's parents are from Barbados. So it was really, um, it's really amazing to see how people have kind of taken up the mantle and, and, and really help, you know, put the image out into the world, and so um, it's really just fun to see. Clothing and jewelry worn by the Grandessa models, which Braithwaite founded, can be found in the exhibit. It's perfect for us because it's history, civil rights, it's New York, and it's really wonderful photography. So it just made total sense for us to try to bring this here. The collective encouraged black women to embrace natural hairstyles and their African ancestry. The exhibit opens to the public Friday 19th August and will run through January 2023 before moving to another city. Thank you.